Hi, I'm Hannah, and this is my mum, brother, and dad. This year, we're trading in a hot Australian summer for a European winter. But today, we're exploring London. We keep waking up at like 4 a.m. So while we're waiting oh. for breakfast, I like, woke up at 6:30 yesterday. Up. He was up at like 3, but I woke up at 4, but then I went back to sleep. We're playing Uno on the bed while we wait for it to be breakfast time. <laughs> it's fun. We each brought a game in our bag. This I'm is winning. one of the games. We had to get all of our laundry washed, so we sent it away with this app and they collected it and washed our clothes. But then afterwards, Hannah's pajamas did that to the bed. What are they going to think? When they they have them? never done that before. They're Peter Alexander. <laughs> they're gonna be like, what happened I think they're Peter. They're Peter <laughs> Alexander, right? That's the brand? Yeah. Yeah, they're fancy, nice Paul pajamas. Price. <laughs> and that's what they did to the bed after being washed by the commercial washers. We might get in trouble. I don't know. Okay, so we're at breakfast. And the brotho duck this here is really, really nice. So I got some hash browns, eggs, a muffin, and a yogurt. What do you think about the breakfast here? It's really good. <laughs> Hannah wanted to eat healthy. Also, Hannah. Look what? at my whole bowl of fruit. No, what, what is this? Look at my whole bowl what of fruit. What did you just make? <laughs> this is a croissant filled with Nutella. She didn't get it like that. She made it like that. How's the healthy eating going? No, the fruit's delicious. <laughs> We've got a food Cute. coma over here. We're going to Hamilton. We wanted to go in New York. Oh, sorry. But it was way um, too expensive. Yes. So we're going now and we're at the back. I'm so excited. I wanted to go for ages. Okay, so this, where we are, it's the Victoria Palace Theatre, and it was actually made in 1911, so it was made to look old, but it actually is quite new for London, at least. Right near London Bridge Tower, Bridge, something. Anyway, that building looks like you want to play Tetris at the top. Don't you want to just play Tetris on oh, it? Oh, I want to yeah. play Tetris <laughs> so bad now. Mom, why did you say that? Mom, there's someone in there. In the moat? In there. Oh, there in is that two. window. I wonder what that is. Not just there's a window turned on, I, a light turned on. I saw okay, someone so in. what Daniel's talking about, we're at the Tower of London. Look, and in there. there's someone in this window. The tower? No, which one is this? <laughs> this is the tower. The Tower of London also holds the crown jewels. I don't know why they call it the tower. It's a castle. That's a very good question. That's a tower. Sorta. This is a bridge. Okay. That's a tower sort of, I guess. I know it's a bridge. Now we're going to the bridge. We'll film more when we get there. Oh, here we go, London Bridge, with some some sort of emergency services you can hear in the background. Who knows? I don't know what it is yet. Let's see. Oh, here we go, fire. <laughs> Off he goes. Here it is, up close. Pretty. Now we're going to walk across it. Look, there's another section. It's very crowded. It's like six something on a weeknight and this is how many people are here. But it's pretty cool. And we've got London in the background. Very, very cool. Okay, so we just got to Tesco. I'm going to get our meal deals for dinner. So basically you get a main, which is like a sandwich or a wrap, and then a snack and a drink for like 
three pounds, I think. Unless you get the premium one. And that's like a bigger thing like a... <laughs> That's like a salad or a like a po poke bowl or something like that. Let's have Okay, so this is the five dollar section. You've got all sorts of different stuff, including normal. Yeah, what is this? Do you have like sweet potato or the ice cream? Yeah. That looks pretty good actually. Ooh. What's this? Okay. Mom, I think I found my main. <laughs> this is going to be the second time I've had sushi today. Today. I and think I'm going to get this. I've had sushi. It's veggie sushi. I'm pretty sure that's just rice in there. Wait, this veggie sushi. Looks good. If you didn't know, this is actually my car. I actually drove all the way to London from Australia. <laughs> yeah, sure. I did. I'm trying to get out of my shop. Oh. St. Pancras Station. Well, and a hotel. Daniel's trying to get a photo too. Everyone's trying to get a photo of the car. It is pretty cool. We're at the Canal Museum. The canal book? Something like that. Anyway, this is what the canal boats look like. They're really cool. Let's see. It's just the bed. They're very yeah. narrow. Look at this. And this they was... used to go through the cool canals. This was the bed. Oh, wow. Look at the bed. Remember, you can use that thing. Here, get rid of this. There we go. It's very cool. So you'd have to put your bed up at night, I guess. Oh wow. Wow, look at this. They have a little pantry. What if you went over some rough waters? Imagine going blub blub blub. That's why there's a lip on it, I guess. That's <laughs> the diamond area. See it. You couldn't have any china in here for sure. Come on through. And look at the stove, it's like a proper cast iron one. Look how narrow it is. It's like, look, I can, yeah. I can touch each side, and I don't have very long arms. Do you live in here? Yeah. You live in here? It's pretty cool. I would. I mean, they used to be. Sorry, this is only part of it, so they'd be bigger as well. This is just like the front bit. So the ones that we saw on YouTube had lots and lots of room and bedrooms and stuff. But this is pretty cool. Are you just recording nothing? <laughs> Hannah's just playing with the camera now. Here are some of the canal boats in real life. They're very long and skinny as you can see. Like super skinny so they can fit in all of the canals. And there are actually a lot of canals still in London and people still live on them. If you look over here, one of them has smoke coming out. So I think someone is living on that one. I don't know if you can see that but someone's probably living there. Maybe people are living in all of these actually. It's very cool. Daniel's gonna throw coins off. All the way down there. That's where they used to keep the ice. This used to be an ice storage facility back in the day. They used to transport the ice with the boats. This is a model of the building. And they used to be really deep, the ice. They used to be 42 feet deep. So apparently ice cream was responsible for spreading tuberculosis a lot of the time. That's and that's fun. what I said. The reason is because they actually did not used to wash these in between uses, which... Seems like a great idea with the, you know, whole yeah. cream thing and the licking of the glass. Mm. <laughs> and the plague. There must not get many kids here because the guy who works here keeps asking how the kids are going oh. and is surprised that they were like, okay, <laughs> it's really funny. Okay, so we're in Camden Markets, guys. I'm in my element. There's so much Harry stuff. Hey, Tay Tay. 
Let's see. I bought this. Mm. But I'm not, I don't want to spend $40 on a shirt. Look at all the stuff. There's, so, there's all the knuckle fairy stuff. Yeah. But like some stuff you can't get as much. And this bird is just chilling on a What's long boat. Good? That bird. This bird. He does have two legs, I'm pretty sure. He just has one up. Yeah, I don't know what he is. He's, <laughs> he's a bit funny. <laughs> He's sitting too still. He's sitting too still. Hannah's creeped out. Oh, oh, there he goes. Bye. He's like, don't take my picture. How dare you? I'm videoing. Maybe, maybe it wants a chip for a picture. It's like, you take my picture, you must give me chip. Okay, so this is Camden Markets. It's kind of the outside, the food section. All sorts of stuff. It's a bit expensive though. Such clean water we have here in the waterways. Ugh, it's manky. And we just missed a boat going through the lock over there, which is a shame. We're on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that, that one, one looks like it hasn't been used in a very long time. Imagine if they opened it. And there's this cool bridge here. Well, imagine if they opened the one that had all the green stuff. That would. Yeah. There's another boat. They must think we have food. They all came over. And there are Canadian geese in London. How weird is that? Okay, there's all these long boats and you can just moor places. Watch out, there's people coming. In the canals, in lots of different places, you can just moor your long boat for up to two weeks and then you just live there. So I think these people are just living here. And it's really cool. People just buy a longboat because it's much cheaper than a house. And then you can just live in them and move around every two weeks. It might be fun to rent one of these. You can actually hire these for, I don't know, a couple of days a week, a couple of weeks. And then you can just go around the waterways. There's a cow on the balcony. There's a cow on the balcony. Oh, there is a cow on the balcony. Obviously. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. This one has some plants. How cool is it? They've got their little oh, garden. Mom. This is a big one. Mom. Oh, here comes a doggo. There's lots of dogs in London, we've realized. And, I like them. and a lot of them are off leash and they're just happy and they walk around and they don't attack each other or anyone else. It's really cool. And they can ride on the tube. <gasps> Hello, Pop. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. This one has some gardens too. They have a full size oven in there, I saw it. They must be using their generator to keep warm because it's pretty cold out here. There you go, London's canals. We only found this cool canal walk because have we have walk. to pee. It's always about having to pee. And we didn't want to pay a pound to go at the Camden Markets because it cost a pound. So we're going to a park that has 20 pee toilets. And to get there, we had to walk this canal. So really cool. The bird highly, the highly suggest that you go and walk a canal when you're here because oh, it's bird, really cool. This is what I don't understand about Europe. You have to pay to go to the bathroom. It's ridiculous. Winter. It's super easy to get around on the tube and then also there's overground rail stations and they have a daily limit so if you go all over the place it's not going to charge you more than I think it's eight pounds something and for the kids it was easier to get a one week pass because you pay for five and get seven. It was only like 20 pounds and they can just go wherever they want within the two zones um, as many trips as they want so easy to get around but definitely need a phone card so you can plan your trips and get maps otherwise you'll get lost. We're gonna go into Aligo. It's the only one in the world and it's right here in Greenwich so it's right near where we're staying and it's kind of like Amazon. You just use your card to tap on and then they've got AI watching you so when you pick something up and then you wait at the gate and you can just it just pays for you. Okay Use the app. Okay, we're going to use the app. So there's an Special Aldi Go app the and it itemizes your receipt as well. You need to get the app. So then you grab stuff and when you take something on the shelf, 
then you've got all the cameras here. Can you? And it picks it up and then we'll see what happens at the end. So let's go shopping. Okay, so then he just stands there. That's how checkout works. And it figures out what he did. And now I'm gonna do it. I stand here and then it just opens.